are here for a very good cause. What cause is that, Mama? The cause of green wigs? No, bitch. Defying inequality. I want to marry my man. Who's your man? My man? Well, I can't say his real name because he's like got a big important job and shit. But, you know, we are I just there. spit out my cough drop. So you do something. That's why you spit something. I don't know what the fuck you spit out, but you spit Speaking out Speaking of spitting out something, tell us about your man. My man, well, he's got he's got a pretty big job, you know, so I won't say who he is. Did your man beat you? Oh, no, my man don't beat me, child. That he's not a real man. Because oh, if a man is going to beat you, girl. Can you tell our viewers what the hell's going on here tonight? Absolutely, I can. Um, basically, what happened when Prop 8 happened in California, everybody freaked out. All the um, companies of Wicked all over the country, the cast members got together, and we realized that we can make a difference. We can make our voices heard. Chicago, really? L.A., and New York, this is happening. And we're going to raise, mostly, we're going to ra raise awareness. Where people are going to let people know what's going on. About Prop 8. Oh, yes. I don't know why I voted yes on that. It's about civil rights. It's not yeah. about whether people want to be married or not. It's well, about everyone should have the right to be. Everyone sh I say if gays and lesbians want to be as bored as everybody else, they should have the right. They absolutely should have that right. They should be as miserable as straight people. Because, you know, monogamy and monotony, the words are so close. They are so just a few letters yeah. off. Yeah. That's very yeah. true. Honey, what happened to your clothes? Uh, I took them off. I love it. They even have prostitutes here. It's amazing. <laughs> I'm here supporting rights. Because you ain't got no job is what you say. Because I ain't got no job, so <clears throat> if they want to hire me back here, you know I'm available right now. Ah! Oh, you're not playing around. No, not really. Who are you? Michelle Ballin. Hi, Michelle Ballin. What's going on, girl? You know who I am? Hell no. I, I mean, at my age, I've been single all this time, and I'm, I have no desire to be married. But I do think we deserve the rights. Yes. If you, you know, if my lover dies, I want the property. Let's yes. face it. That's I want it. Nine years in a relationship, ending it right now. Um, I have a six-year-old son, and uh, basically um, I, I, all of the money was squirreled away, and there's nothing that I can do legally. So you know what? If I had the same rights as everybody else, I wouldn't be in this mess. Your lover and you broke up. Yes, we did. And he snatched the baby like Kramer versus Kramer. Oh, no, he did not snatch the baby. We're working on that now, but he did get a lot of money. I'm sure the child is very cute, but you know what I would do? I would say, keep the kid. Keep the kid. Send me a Christmas card. I'll get a dog. Hell no. So where's the ex? The, we're living in the house right now trying to... Together. Together. Woo, drama. Is he cute? He's, yeah. Is he looking for somebody new? Oh, my God. I can't do this. No. Watch out for my drink. No, you are a cast member of Wicked. I am. Yeah, I've been in the show for now over five years. Who do you play? Oh, then I've seen you because I've seen it twice and I love it. Yeah, I do nine different roles. So I play all of most of the male ensemble roles and then I play the wizard, Dr. Dillman, and Fierro as well. I do nine roles, but bottom is extra. I can't. <laughs> for charity and everything, but I also have expenses and shit, and nobody, nobody really needs to catch this. Just gonna, look, I'm gay. This money's for me, honey. Whatever. What is Broadway Impact? Broadwayimpact.com is a grassroots movement to get the Broadway community politically active to get marriage equality in New York State. I didn't hear a word of that, but you're cute. Thanks, honey. <laughs> this is Broadway Impact. And every blonde in town knows about it. What's your name? Scott Duquette. Scott Duquette. And what you doing here, baby? Well, I'm helping her organize for BroadwayImpact.com. Are you a theater queen? Uh, yeah, I would say I'm a theater queen. Is it true that all theater queens are bottoms? No. Really? Yeah. You willing to prove it? Hell no. BroadwayImpact.com is a coalition to bring the Broadway and theater community together towards political action for equality. Hi, Andrew. What are you doing here tonight? Uh, I'm supporting a great cause, of course. You work out a lot, don't you? Uh, well, I've been doing it for a lot of years because I'm old. Yeah. Do you live in New Jersey? No, I don't, but I'm Long Island? Originally. No. Okay. You're from New Jersey? Upper East Side. I know these things. Pick me up. Catch me. Catch me. Oh, my God. oh, Andrew, you are so fired. Really bad. Andrew, you are so I'm fired. Oh. Uh, does my, this mean you're having my baby? My mic cord is in the salsa. Oh, my God. Okay, you can put me down. No, I can't move. I can't put you okay, down. Okay, I'm going to just do this. 
Andrew, are you part of the Broadway community? I am not. I'm just a big supporter of them. And I like, you know, screwing actors, but that's a whole Do you? Thing. Why? Well, you know, they're cute. Actors are terrible in bed. No, Do you know why? That's not why. Because they say things like, where's my key light? I don't even know what that means. Goodbye, Andrew. You have failed on every count. <laughs> The cast of Wicked has been doing really creative fundraising events like this since it's, since they got together. Um, it's a tight-knit group. We're very fortunate that as a family, the Wicked family has been very lucky with our um, with having a great audience and having a great long run. So we have time to come up with these great ideas and we have a great fan base that supports all of our great ideas and comes out and supports our events. It's, it's cool. What makes me Wicked? Huh. I think it's those tight pants, honey, because you're showing off some booty. <laughs> It might have been my Christmas dinner that got my pants a little tighter that makes me whip. No, it's rocking. Wicked. <laughs> All right now I'm traveling. I'm doing some cruise ships and doing some background vocal work and auditioning and playing the game, working on my new album. Does that mean that you're hanging out at the docks picking up guys? Unfortunately, no. My life would probably be a little more exciting and I'd have a better answer for why I'm wicked. <laughs> I am making a film right now called Loop the Loop at Giuseppe. And it's about a 1907 drag queen or a transvestite. Oh, you know my grandfather. I know your grandfather, girl. What makes me wicked? Well, it's all about. <sighs> oh, girl, you know it really is. Thank you, baby. <laughs> what does wicked mean to you? Good. What does wicked mean to me? Good or bad? A guy that doesn't let me use mouthwash after. Oh, my God. No, yeah. Tony, this is not going to ruin your I'm career. Child. <laughs> Gargoyles, psychics, everything's on go!